In this lesson we look at simplifying algebraic fractions. Examples. We're asked to simplify fully. The first example, 2a plus 4b all over 5a plus 10b. Now in these examples we're going to try to factorize before cancelling down. So we consider the top 2a plus 4b. Hopefully we can think of a common factor as being 2. So we take the 2 out and inside the brackets to get 2a that is 2 times a and to get the 4b the positive 4b that's 2 times positive 2b that is all over now the bottom factor well 5 is common we'll take that out and in brackets then to get 5a that's made up of 5 times a and to get the positive 10b that's 5 times positive 2b. Now if we consider the a plus 2b's they're common to both top and bottom so they're a common factor so they can cancel each other out and in this case we're left with 2 fifths. So we've simplified that fully it's came up as 2 fifths. Our second example here 6a plus 3b all over 3x minus 3y Again, we look to factorize the top there, 3 is common, so we take the 3 out and then brackets. So to get 6a, well that's made up of 3 times 2a. And to get 3b, 3 times the positive b. That is all over. Now the bottom, 3x minus 3y, well again 3 is common, so we take the 3 and then put the brackets. So to get 3x, we get 3 times x. And to get minus 3y, that would be 3 times negative y. Now this time, the 3's will cancel. Alright, out they go. And we are left with 2a plus b over x minus y. Well, nothing can cancel there. So that is our answer. 2a plus b over x minus y. Our third example, 5m plus 10a all over 20a plus 10m. Well, to factorize the top, can we think of a common factor? 5 is common. So we put the 5 and then brackets. Now to get 5m, that is 5 times m. And to get the 10a, that's 5 times positive 2a. Now the denominator there, 20a plus 10m. 10 is common in this case in then brackets so 20a is made up of 10 times 2a and the 10m is made up of 10 times positive m now can we break that down I'm sure we can 5 and 10 can we think of a number that goes into 5 and also into 10 well 5 does so we're going to divide both by 5 so 5 into 5 goes once and 5 into 10 goes twice now inside the brackets there we have m plus 2a and 2a plus m. Now are they the same? Well the answer to that is yes. All right, When you add two things it doesn't matter what order you add them in. So m plus 2a is in fact the same as 2a plus m. So they will cancel each other out. So this really gets simplified doesn't it? We're simply left with one half. Excellent. Now our fourth example here 9ab minus 3a squared that's all over 7a squared minus 21ab okay a touch more complicated than the last three techniques the same look at the top anything common there well there is a common number the three but also the letter a so we can take 3a out as a common factor then in brackets there let's think to get 9ab that is a matter of 3a times 3b and to get the minus 3a squared, that will be 3a times negative a. Now that is all over the bottom there. 7a squared minus 21ab. Well again, we can think of a common number, 7, and a common factor a. So we take the 7a out, then inside the brackets, to get 7a squared, that will be 7a times a. And to get the minus 21ab, That'll be 7a times minus 3b. Very good. 
Now look at these brackets here, 3b minus a and a minus 3b. Well, do you think they're the same? In fact, this time they're not quite the same. They're very similar, but not quite the same because with subtraction, order is very important. All right, so we need to consider the order in subtraction. So we're going to cancel them down in the next step. Okay, a little trick. Let's see what happens. The top line we'll just rewrite, 3a outside of 3b minus a. But we're going to rewrite the bottom line. We're going to put the minus out the front. We'll take a minus factor out, leave the 7a as such. But inside the brackets there, that's highlighted, a minus 3b, we're going to reverse. All right, we can do that because we've taken the minus factor out. And the reason we did that, well, the a's can cancel there. That's no problem. But importantly here, the 3b minus a is now common to both. They will cancel. So what are we left with? We have 3 over minus 7. So our end result is negative 3 sevenths. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.